at the front of the hull the armor protection of the Leopard 2A7 bolts has been massively increased in order to allow the vehicle to survive hits by kinetic energy penetrators in dual situations. This has been done by installing passive add-on armor over the nose of the hull, by replacing the internal protection modules of the bow with modern ones in D technology and by installing add-on armor on top of the vehicle's glasses plate. Catchers and universal brackets for installing heavy side skirts are fitted along the sides of the hull in the front area and along the turret side's mounting points for an add-on armor package are incorporated, while universal fittings at the rear of the hull allow the fittings at the rear of the hull allow the installation of enhanced protection bar armor. In order to increase mobility the vehicle is fitted with new P25.000 HD final drives. These allow for a faster acceleration when the tank is setting off, for example when braking cover, but reduce the top speed from 68 km h to 61 km h. By the sum of the modifications the gross vehicle weight of the Leopard 2A7 bolts is increased from 64.5 tons to 66.5 tons. This has made it necessary to modify the running gear and suspension in order to maintain its outstanding driving characteristics and reduce wear and tear. In order to improve the night fighting capabilities of the tank and to benefit command and control exercised by the vehicle commander, the Leopard 2A7 Bolts features the spectral technology for Unlimited Sight 2, SPECTUS2 Multispectral Driver's Vision System. The air condition. The NBC protection overpressure system is now integrated into the air conditioning system, clearing the space originally occupied by the system in the left sponson. This is now occupied by a second air conditioning system with a refrigerating capacity of 6 kilowatts that regulates the temperature in the driver's compartment. The Leopard 2A7 Volts uses the L55A1 smoothbore tank gun as main armament, which features a new breech end floor plate, recoil brake and recuperator. This gun can handle much higher gas pressure and allows targets to be engaged out to a distance of 5,000 meters. Currently the German Army fields four ammunition types for the gun the 11 German marks High Explosive Fragmentation Tracer or he frag t the 63 German marks a one armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabot or APFSDS, the 98 German marks Practice, Trainer UEBT and the 88 German marks Cone Stabilized, Discarding Sabot Tracer Practice Cartridge or CSDS, t prax CTG. In the field of optical and fire control equipment the EMES-15A2 main sight of the gunner has been fitted with the Attica 3rd generation thermal imaging system and a new iSafe laser rangefinder. The gunner has also been issued with a new display to the left of his gun controls that allows him to monitor the footage generated by the EMES-15A2 and the Perry R-17A3 commander's panoramic sight from a more ergonomic position and so reduces fatigue during longer observation times. In order to replace obsolete technology the monitor of the vehicle commander has been replaced with a new 8.4-inch display and the electrical control of the weapon tracking system has been replaced by a digital one. The vehicle navigation system has been upgraded by installing a new and highly accurate explosion-resistant GPS receiver that also offers a certain degree of resistance against deception and jamming measures. The storage concept for ammunition, vehicle-related equipment and the personal equipment of the crew has been also reworked. As part of this the snow browsers for the tracks, previously stored on the front of the hull, are now stored in brackets. Room the brackets for the rounds had to modify to accommodate the higher weight of the 29 German Marks and 20 Fenig's 11 he frag T rounds. The 76mm smoke grenade discharger system of the Leopard 2A7 volts features only six launch tubes on each turret side, instead of eight tubes on earlier models, and the tail lights have been integrated in the outlet grille of the cooling system at the rear of the hull. At the rear of the hull a new towing hitch with 70-ton capacity has been installed. Together with the 104 Leopard 2A7V the Bundeswehr is also procuring 40 sets of Barracuda multispectral camouflage, manufactured by Saab. With the Leopard 2A7 volts the Panzertruppe of the German Army is receiving a modern weapon system of highest standards that is capable to dominate the battlefield and prevail in the MBT against MBT duel. The trophy APS consists of radar antennas, countermeasure, launcher and autoloader. When a projectile is detected, the internal computer calculates an approach vector before the projectile arrives. Once the incoming weapon is classified, the computers calculate the optimal time and angle to fire the countermeasures. 
The response comes from two rotating launchers installed on the sides of the vehicle which fire a very small number of MEFPs, multiple explosive formed penetrators, which form a very tight, precise matrix and is classified, the computers calculate the optimal time and angle to fire the countermeasures. The response comes from two rotating launchers installed on the sides of the vehicle which fire a very small number of MEFPs, multiple explosive formed penetrators, which form a very tight, precise matrix, aimed at a specific point on the anti-tank projectile's warhead. Citing German Army information, the Leopard 2A7 Bolts offers the best protection in the world compared to the current modern tanks. It features state-of-the-art modular composite armor mounted on the upper front glasses plate of the hull and around the turret that offers a high level of protection. The armor is greatly increased and may match or surpass 700mm on the hull, and the turret is impenetrable. The armor provides 360 degrees protection to the crew from anti-tank missiles, mines, improvised explosive devices IEDs, and rocket-propelled grenade RPG fire. The layout of the Leopard 2A7 Volts is conventional for a modern main battle tank with a driver at the front right side of the hull, a turret located in the middle of the hull, and the power pack at the rear. It has a crew of four including a driver, commander, gunner, and loader. The Leopard 2A7 Volts is armed with a Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore tank gun that is able to fire the latest Rheinmetall 120mm, 53 German Marks armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabot tracer, German Marks armor-piercing fin stabilized discarding Sabot tracer, APFSDST ammunition, and it can use a depleted uranium penetrator. With its 120mm cannon, the tank can engage enemy vehicles with pinpoint accuracy at a distance of up to 5,000 meters. The armament can be used. The Leopard 2A7 Volts also features a new air conditioning system. While its direct predecessor already introduced a powerful air conditioning system, a newer one has become available on the market between the development of the Leopard 2A7 and 2A7 Volts main battle tank that can double act as NBC protection system and fits within the existing power envelope in space. The old NBC protection system has been turned into an additional air conditioning system specifically meant for the driver. The APU of the Leopard 2A7 Volts has been upgraded to provide a power output of 20 instead of only 17 kilowatts in order to support both air conditioning systems as well as all other electrical systems of the tank.